the present problem uh, is of gate uh, 2014 and uh, it's what two marks on plane waves and uh, this is the second problem uh, in the area of uh, uh, polarization of the waves means how to determine the polarization of the wave okay so we'll see this problem here uh, if the electric field of plane wave is Ez t x3 cos omega t minus kz plus 30 degrees minus y 4 sin omega t minus kz plus 45 degrees millivolts per meter the polarization state of the plane wave is so left elliptical b is left circular c is right elliptical and right circular okay uh, we have already seen uh, the problem of uh, year 2015 this problem is also a similar problem but uh, uh, there is a variation in the electric field equation and uh, also there is a variation in the uh, direction of propagation so uh, let us start with this problem the electric field of the plane wave is given as Ez t this is uh, unit vector in the x direction 3 cos omega t minus k z plus 30 degrees minus the unit vector in uh, y direction 4 sin omega t minus k z plus 45 now if you look that how the wave is propagating which direction the wave is propagating because you can see here the factor here is omega t minus k z it tells us that the wave is propagating or even if you can find otherwise also its propagating is plus z direction e to the power minus k z would uh, indicate that wave is propagating in plus z direction so this is also omega t minus k z so this is the propagation in plus z direction okay now uh, we can determine this equation for z equals to 0 uh, above equation can be written as uh, e 0 t x 3 cos omega t plus 30 minus y 4 sin omega t plus 45 okay now uh, we look into this equation <coughs> now this uh, we simplify further in a sense we want to make uh, this x component is uh, at x component of the field is having a cos part in the form of cos this also we have to make in the same form so that we can find the actual phase difference between the x component and the y component so what we are doing is here uh, this is sine omega t plus 45 plus 180 degrees that means sine of 180 plus theta is minus sine theta so minus sine here will get absorbed into this so this will be y4 sine omega t plus 45 plus 180 degrees now we further simplify this is cos multiple 30 y4 cos of omega t plus 135 so this that is 90 plus this will give me the cos so now both are having the cos terms now we can find the uh, uh, direction of polarization now here what we observed here that EY that Y component is leading by one, 105 degrees because the 30 degrees 135 so leading by 105 degrees so uh, the resultant vector rotates in the clockwise direction because this is a standard relation when the y component when the y field is leading the x field then the uh, vector rotates in the clockwise direction okay so it is rotating in the clockwise direction fine so clockwise direction it is rotation now now we can see see this uh, direction of propagation is now direction of propagation we already seen is uh, plus z now how we find the polarization 
Now the vector is moving in the clockwise direction, but we have to find the polarization. That means we have to look into the direction of propagation. How we do lo look into the direction of propagation? Here we can look into the direction of propagation. If you uh, see from the back of back of the plane of this paper towards Z, because this is the Z axis which is coming out. If you look towards Z from the back of the paper, what we observe here, this vector would be rotating in counterclockwise. <coughs> So again you see this to find the polarization what we have to see we have to look the rotation of the vector in the direction of propagation but how we look into direction of propagation because the z is coming towards me towards uh, the uh, normal to the plane of the paper so but minus z would be opposite to that and if you want to see into direction of plus z then you have to be at the back of this that means from z is equal to 0 and beyond if you go and then look towards plus z direction then you will find this vector would be rotating in the counterclockwise it will look to be rotating in counterclockwise from the other direction from this side it is clockwise but other side it will be counterclockwise so since the vector is counterclockwise and when the vector is rotating counterclockwise the left handed polarized and since the components of EX and EY are not equal so this wave would be elliptically polarized so it will be left handed elliptically polarized wave this is option A so this is answer to this problem ok thank you